Hi there. I'm world famous technology blogger and Techland contributor Doug Amick. Now if you're like me, you know a lot about technology, like probably more than anyone else you know. Like you're probably the best at technology of anyone that you've ever met. And when that happens, that's great, but all of your friends, family, coworkers, you know, hangers on come out of the woodwork and say, hey, could you help me with this? Could you help me with that? Could you just do this for me? Could you just do that for me? After a while, it gets a little old and you feel like saying, you know, uh, guys, a wise man once said, give me a fish and I will eat it. Teach me to fish and I will go catch other fish using the methods that you just taught me. I think that man was, uh, memory serves, I think it was James Hetfield of Metallica. Might have been Cliff Burton, although he died in a bus accident. Someone said it with long hair and a beard. Uh, where was I? Oh, the Pan Digital Photo Scanner. This thing's great. It's a hundred bucks. It's got a little uh, SD card slot in the back here. And you scan photos, slides, and negatives right into the thing. It goes right on, the, uh, right on the SD card. You don't even need, uh, you don't even need a computer. Hey, look how easy this is. Plug her in. Make sure you got your SD card in the back. This is me on my graduation day from college. Oh, 22 year old Doug. You don't know what blogging is now, but you will someday. If you did, you would have stayed in college forever. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh... That's it. You put it in the protective sleeve, which helps protect the photo, and uh, minimizes the actual contact with the scanner lens, so that it doesn't, uh, you know, cause any lines or anything like that. And now there's this little attachment here for. Uh, negatives. Just pop it right into place. And I can tell you that if you have the negatives to old photos, this way is faster because there are four pictures on this um, negative, piece of negative here, and it'll automatically chop up, chop them up into four separate pictures. And you don't have to use the protective sheet, and they end up looking better. And there's also an attachment for slides, but I don't have any photos on slides because I'm not an 80-year-old school marm. There we got our photos right there. Photo scan, photo scan, slide, 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 slide. Doug Ameth gives it a thumbs up. That was awful. So here's how the conversation will go from now on. I suggest telling people you don't have a scanner. So someone says, hey, do you have a scanner? And I say no. And they say, well, I need to have 300 photo scan. Where should I get it done? And you can actually tell them, honestly, pick up the Pan Digital personal photo scanner. It's a hundred bucks. It does up to four by six photos. It does negatives. It does slides all directly to an SD card. So you got it backed up right there. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can hook it up via the included USB cable to your computer and scan directly to your computer. But let's not, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We're talking about your family and friends here. It's, it's going to be complicated, but for a hundred bucks, it honestly couldn't be easier. Just this tiny little scanner. Photos go in right on the SD card. I like it.